You are wearing a safari jacket and faded jeans and cannot remember how you got here. You wear one shoe and have three chains and a camera around your neck. The camera is your trusty Nikon 3 ST, but the lens is smashed and the casing is cracked. You look through the viewfinder and all you see is mud. Time to wake up, Marley boy. You pinch yourself and it hurts, less like a short stab and more like the hollow ache of an insult. You're in a queue, shouting at a woman in a white sari seated behind a fiberglass counter, who hasn't been furious at women behind counters before. Certainly not you. Most Lankans are silent seethers, but you like to complain at the top of your lungs. Not saying your fault, not saying my fault, but mistakes happen, no? Especially in government offices. What to do? This is not a government office. I don't care, auntie. I'm just saying, I can't be here. I have photos to share. I'm in a committed relationship. I am not your auntie. You look around. Behind you, a queue weaves around pillars and snakes along walls. The air is foggy, though no one appears to be exhaling smoke or carbon dioxide. It looks like a car park with no cars or a market space with nothing to sell. Even close up, the figures look blurry-edged with talcum skin and have eyes that blaze in colours not customary for brown folk. Some are dressed in hospital smocks, some have dried blood on their clothes, some are missing limbs. All are shouting at the woman in white. This appears to be a gathering point for those with questions about their death. The afterlife is a tax office, and everyone wants their rebate. You take another picture, which is what you do when you don't know what else to. You attempt to capture this car park of chaos, but all you see are cracks in the lens.